Hey ladies and gentlemen, Sid Survival Guide here. And today, I want to bring you something out of a bucket that I have recently purchased. The Ready Wise Emergency Food Supply. 100 servings, 25 year shelf life. And I'm assuming that that's with the bucket closed. Obviously, I've already opened it. Today, we're going to be using our little Coleman. And we're going to be making some uh, beef stroganoff. So, if you have already been to my channel before, you know I really enjoy the freeze dried stroganoffs and trying them, seeing how good they are. And this, uh, this is a savory stroganoff. If you pay attention, creamy pasta with mushrooms, onions, and a rich beef flavored sauce. As far as I can see, there's no actual beef in this. So, what we're gonna do is something else that I keep in my, my stash of foods because it stays good for a year and you can use it for anything. I'm gonna cook it in vegetable broth. It takes four cups. Four cups. I'll end up doing more videos on this bucket right here. There are all the different things in it. Now the only thing that's missing is the dried banana chips. We're not gonna talk about that. They're just gone. Get this started. Uh, this one's got the most in it. Now, you're supposed to cover this for about 15 or 20 minutes. And I don't have a lid for this big uh, pan here. So I went ahead, uh, this was a, a throwaway. So I sanded it down, boiled linseed oil on it. I drew on it a little bit and you can see my artistic values lacking a bit. But I'm gonna use that to cover it. It doesn't say to cover it while it's cooking it says to cover it after you have added the savory beef i've seen a bunch of these buckets and i've got another one and i've wondered this is the the one that i wanted to get into first in order to kind of find out whether or not i wanted to purchase things like this so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this to a bowl Pour a little bit out so we got room to shake it. None of these brands are sponsored. I just really want to know what's good and what's not. And hopefully I can do this and purchase some of this stuff. And I'm going to do it anyways. So maybe it'll save you guys some time and some effort and some money if I do it. And then say, hey, look, this is either good or bad. And you can believe me or not, but if it sucks, you'll know it. Bring four cups water to a boil. Add contents of pouch into boiling water and stir. Turn off heat and cover. Let stand for 12 to 15 minutes stirring occasionally. Uncover and let cool two to three minutes before serving. We have 220 calories per serving making this one quarter serving size 880 calories per pouch. Now the question right here and the reason I'm making this four servings for myself is because one, I love beef stroganoff. Two, I wanna see how much of this, if I pack this in and I decided to make half of it with two cups of water or anything while I was out doing anything, would that half of this be enough? How much is one serving actually gonna do my grown ass man self? You know what I mean? While we wait for that water to boil, or the broth to boil, I'll bring you some facts. It comes with creamy yogurt style dessert, dried banana chips, we weren't gonna talk about that, freeze-dried corn, freeze-dried peas, whey milk alternative, chocolate dairy delight, brown sugar and maple multigrain, I'm assuming that's oatmeal, two of those, crunchy granola, creamy pasta and vegetables, pasta alfredo, savory stroganoff, tomato basil soup and vanilla pudding. And then the next one, what I'll probably do since we've introduced it in this one is I'll make a meal out of several of the items in here to see how good it is. As always, you can find this on Amazon. I have a link in the description below. Anything that you do purchase through any of my affiliate links, all the proceeds go to making the channel better and purchasing more stuff like this in order to let you guys know whether it's good or not. The entire bucket itself says just add water 
But in a survival situation, if you want to try to get as much out of you can from as much as you can out of one meal, because you might not be able to eat several times a day. You might only be able to eat once and you want to make that meal as good as possible. And by substituting some broth, we've added a couple more things in there that the body might need. In my opinion, health expert, no sir. Survival expert, no sir. Today, it's 70 degrees. It's December. Crazy. I shouldn't have to necessarily remove it from heat because I'm gonna turn the heat off. So I should be able to leave it right here and put my cutting board right on top of it and let it sit for 10, 12, 15 minutes. Just to go ahead and fill you guys in on those 220 calories per serving, we're gonna end up with three and a half grams of fat, 1.5 grams of saturated fat, zero grams trans fat, zero milligrams of cholesterol, 750 milligrams of sodium. That's all these numbers are gonna be increased by the broth. Total carbohydrates, 39 grams. Dietary fiber, one gram. Sugars, five grams. Includes zero grams of added sugars, seven grams of protein, 80 milligrams of calcium, 1.7 milligrams of iron, and a whopping 570 milligrams of potassium, which none of these are actual great numbers for your daily values. But all of this stacked on with, let's say the broth and a couple other things that we might be able to incorporate. Like, let's say, uh, one of those SOS emergency ration bars with something like this, then you've, you know, you've packed on 500 calories pretty quick. And packing on them calories is important in a survival situation or an extended stay situation anywhere that you don't necessarily want to be. And you need something like this, or you even need to know how to survive off of a limited amount of calories, knowing what you're consuming doesn't just make you a little bit more health conscious about what you're eating but it also helps you to know that when you need something in the future you know how many calories and what's in these calories that's actually going to be useful for your body in an emergency survival situation i think it was max brooks that said uh in the zombie survival guide if you act like your neighbor is your worst enemy you'd be prepared for anything and i could be saying that wrong but I took that to heart and that's how I, I, I would love to be prepared enough to say, well, if my neighbors went crazy, I'd be all right. So I live in an apartment with my three boys and my wife and our neighbors being our, our worst enemy would not be a good thing being surrounded by so many people. If you guys know of any other stroganoff recipes or any other stroganoff survival foods that I haven't already shown on the channel please make sure to leave in the comments below or what is your favorite survival package freeze-dried uh made in a lab is it no big bubbles no troubles produced on equipment that also processes milk soy wheat eggs and tree nuts if anybody is interested in this cooking setup the link is also in the description below i have used it all year long overly satisfied with it I would definitely recommend it or any of its other sized companions. All right, Mr. DeVille, we're ready for our close-up. Always remove uh, oxygen absorber. And here we go. Definitely has a good smell. Smells great. It is right now sitting at 4.05. We will be opening it back up at 4.20. Bam! It's like magic. It's 4.19. Bam! Look at that. Nice little sweat ring there. We'll just turn this over and set this on it. It looks like we have thickened up some. but it still may be a little watery. I used four cups, so. Mm. It does have a really good taste. The only thing is not no meat, 
no meat. Very good though. So, my improvement would be vegetable broth for beef stock and some beef jerky. That beef jerky would, would rehydrate. I don't see any mushrooms. I said I had mushrooms, onions, and beef flavored sauce. I don't see or taste any mushrooms. I would say this one this would be this would be enough for sure for me and Jessica but at the recommended serving size this would be about two people per packet it does taste great I mean, it tastes absolutely amazing. But is it a is it a staple in my head that it has to have the meat in it for me to be getting the same things from it that or is it like I, I spend the money on this, I feel like it, it should have some meat in it if it says beef stroganoff. But, just to be specific, it does not say beef stroganoff. I think it says savory stroganoff. So, they covered their bases there. I use the right measurement. I use the right time frame. I don't think the beef broth would have made, or the vegetable broth would have made as big a difference as in order of making it so watery. It says on the package that if you couldn't heat, that you could let it sit for 15 or 20 minutes just in the water. I might have to get another one and try that because that's kind of hard to believe. Even under the desired heat and time frame of it sitting, I'm still getting a small crunch here and there from the noodles. This to me is just a massively heavy noodle dish. Crazy.
as you can see, I've eaten roughly about half of it. I, I'm, I'm pretty full. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed those wet noodles. Because that's about what they were. Ready Wise seems like a great brand. The flavor was amazing. But it does lack in a few areas in my non-professional opinion. This is the first Ready Wise food that I have tried out of a package. The first time I have attempted to make it based off of the instructions, I used a vegetable broth instead of water. It should not have changed the consistency of the meal altogether. So my, my overall thoughts on it is uh, this is, is, is exactly what it's trying to be. I have the preconception that it has to have meat in it and that's just me. That's not a down to ready wise. That's just me personally. I like to see something with some, some meat in it, some girth to my food, some depth. This is noodles and green stuff. And it may be giving me what I need, but at the end of, at the end of my meal, I don't wanna to have to drink the juice just to get those proteins and those calories. I would rather eat it in a sauce that it's supposed to be savory, stroganoff. Ready wise guys, there's plenty of other stuff out of this bucket to try. I'm not a big pasta fan when it comes to spaghettis. But I will be trying a lot more foods on here with you guys from a couple different buckets like this. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Tell your friends, hey, there's this guy, he eats stuff. Tell him what to eat, he'll get it. He'll make it. He'll tell you what it tastes like, whether it's good or not. This is Sid, survival guy. See you guys.